Hi, this is Salas Ames, and I'm doing this video for the We Are All Mixed Up Tumblr on uh, multiracial skincare. And I am uh, half Asian and half white. Um, and my skin, I kind of inherited oily skin with large pores from both sides of my family. And I've been prone to acne since the age of 13 or so. And right now I'm uh, pushing 40 pretty hard. Uh, so just to give you uh, some, um, you know, context on my skin. And uh, my pores are very large. I can't really show you because I'm not very good at lighting here, but this is the biggest one. Uh, I hate this thing. It's like, see that? It's like the Sarlacc pit. I hate it. Um, but I have to live with it, so, you know, whatever. And uh, I have really... Um, not had any cosmetic procedures done. I tried to get eyeliner tattooed on me and it was horribly painful. I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad because, you know, I've got tattoos, but then when they went in and the, the eye with the needle, oh God, so painful. So I didn't really do that. And I've had a laser on my mustache, laser hair removal, because when I hit my 30s, uh, these started getting dark. I was like, oh, I don't want that. So. I went to uh, laser hair removal, and if you're a person of color, sometimes you'll hear that, oh, you can't get laser removal. It only works on people with really, uh, you know, light skin with dark hair, but that's not true. You can find some places that will, um, you know, uh, that are able to do that, that specialize in that. You just need to use different frequencies of laser. And uh, so... Um, you might want to notice that my eyebrows, I really like having big eyebrows. A lot of people have told me I should get them shaped, but I'm like, no, no, it's never going to happen. It's just something that I'm attached to. I was not attached to this, but I'm very attached to this. So um, my what, what I do to keep from breaking out and keep my skin in decent condition is, um, first of all, I use glycolic acid wash, and these are three glycolic acids, and these are all fairly cheap, and you can get them from places like drugstore.com online. And I don't believe in spending a lot of money for uh, these skincare products. So this one is my favorite right now. It's Alpha Hydrox Foaming Face Wash uh, Clarifying Cleanser. And this has, um, you know, AHA uh, in it, Alpha. Um, and it's, it, it cleans me very, very thoroughly. But if you have a little bit more dry skin. If you're oily but you have skin more edging into medium, then it might be too harsh for you. So instead, um, there is there's this thing, Derma E Glycolic Facial Cleanser. Uh, and this is, I don't really like it that much because it's too gentle. It still leaves my face a little bit oily. But it might work for you. This is sort of in the middle of both. This is Glycolic Cream Cleanser from Skin Effects by Dr. Jeffrey Dover, which sounds like it would be an expensive brand, but it's actually not. Okay. So uh, after I do that, and I wash my face two times a day always, in the morning and at night, I will put on some a little bit of moisturizer. And right now, I've used lots of different ones. Um, right now I'm using something from Revive Labs, which has antioxidants in it. And I will sometimes use acne medication, and these are my favorite two acne medications. They're both very cheap. This one is called Zapzit Pore Treatment Gel, and it is concentrated salicylic acid. You use this for breakouts or like bumps that are coming up. You just put a little bit, you rub it in, you wait, you leave it on your skin for a while. And don't bother with acne washes that have salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide because what happens is, yeah, sure, those medicines are great, but if you wash your face with them and then you wash it off, they're on your face for like what five to ten seconds so it's it's pointless in fact a dermatologist told me this um, back when I had health insurance I went to a dermatologist for acne and and he explained that these um, a lot of these acne washes that they sell in drugstores like this here's one here's an old one that I used to buy um, they're they are they're, they're pretty pointless because uh, the, the medicine does not stay on the face but the creams things that stay on the face will really help to fight acne so zaps it for breakouts and clean and clear Persigel 10, 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication, maximum strength. 
these are pretty expensive for drugstore things. I think they're like five, six, seven dollars, uh, you know, but they, you don't need to use them every day. I use them like maybe every other day or every three days, sometimes at night, sometimes in the day, uh, depending on how my skin is doing and, you know, if I see any breakouts coming. And uh, this really, really helps out and it also reduces the appearance of blackheads. So the next thing that I think helps a lot is uh, pore minimizers. Here's one from MAC. It's a pretty expensive one. And here's one from a drugstore brand, I think it's from Target or something, called Number 7, which is a very cheap one. <clears throat> but they both do the same thing. They sort of fill in the pores a little bit and uh, mattify them so that if you're wearing makeup, you don't get as oily as soon after you put on makeup. Um, and I think the last two things I want to talk about are this Clinique. This is a Clinique Acne Solutions Makeup. It is a shade 09 Fresh Honey. And I've always had good luck with Clinique matching the golden undertones to my skin. Uh, one second. Okay, well, Clinique is great, but it's also kind of expensive. A good alternative is Physicians Formula, which is a US drugstore brand. And like Clinique, they're very hypoallergenic and their stuff will not cause uh, breakouts or infections as much as other makeup brands will. And uh, so they, they don't have as much color choices as Clinique though. I've, I've had better luck with color matching at Clinique. And you see my nose is getting a little bit shiny already. I've barely been out of the, the shower for an hour and I haven't really put anything on and that's already happening. So that's why I use things like the pore minimizers and blotting papers throughout the day to uh, get the shine off. And uh, the last product I wanted to talk about was, uh, you know, masks. And this is a good, cheap, reliable mask that I use about once a week. The uh, Freeman Facial Peel-Off Mask Cucumber. Cucumber is a really old beauty trick. And I know that some people like to put cucumber slices on their faces and uh, th that will help their skin. But this stuff is pretty good too. Uh, so I guess that's really about it for the skincare, um, you know, my skincare tips. But one thing uh, I want to mention is, I guess just two general pieces of advice is one, see a dermatologist if you can, especially if you have health insurance. Um, I was really glad I was able to do that when I had health insurance. I would not be able to afford to do it now though. And, uh, you know, just listen to them and, uh, you know, see what kind of prescription medications might help you, but realize that a lot of prescription medications are complete ripoffs and just really overpriced. So you want to do your own research too. And lastly is the ever, you know, they will always tell you, everyone tells you don't pop your zits. And um, so I have to touch on that to say that I have been doing that for decades. And I know you're not supposed to, I know you get scars, but if it's right there, it's, ugh, ugh, well, I'm not going to come down on either way. I'm not going to come down on either side, but just do what works for you. Okay. I mean, maybe that's how I got the Sarlacc pit. I don't know. But other than that, it's what I've been doing is working for me, especially once I switched over to the purse gel and the glycolic acid, um, the, cause the glycolic acid gives you a really good facial cleansing. And, uh, that's about it. I hope that was useful. Um, so, uh, bye.